I was in the market for a lumber rack when I moved into this shop, and I saw a few, but they all had reviews of cheap weld, stuff like that, breaking. Eh, I didn't really want to chance it when I had scrap wood, and I built a lumber rack. Now, this scrap wood lumber rack is pretty freaking strong. But the issue that I have with it, where it's at, this one in particular, the bottom one, is it's kind of in my walkway, especially if I'm running a whole sheet of plywood, it takes up this space. So it's in my walkway, and I hit it quite often. Mm -hmm. Ow! 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 Oh, my arm! I can't feel... So, my solution is going to be to build some more because I have some more scrap wood and I'm going to move the rack that's on this wall to that wall because obviously that blocks the walkway. Now the dimensions are an inch and three quarter wide and this is just a two by six from Lowe's or Home Depot or big box store sorry an inch and three quarter wide by 10 inches long. So I'll rip it down to an inch and three quarter strips. Then I'll cut each of those strips to 10 inches until I come out with however many pieces I come up with. And this is what you get. Blah. Scrap plywood. Scrap wood. I don't want to build some. The plywood is three quarters. It is glued and nailed, and it's stout. It's stout. It's pretty stout. It's stout enough for what I need it for. Can you hear me? There's a mic. It should be working. It's coming through the wired wireless mic. So what I like about these is once you have that bottom rack set, all you gotta do is take your next one, square it up on top, and run it up. That's all you gotta do. All you cut your square, square it, plumb it, square it, put it in a stud. 
and stack them on top as high as you want to go. But I just realized this one's going to be useless here because of the saw. Unless I have a long piece because this is where I want to put my next one. I'd have to have a long skinny piece of lumber. I'm not sure. I don't know what to do. I could, I could leave it there and go across that. I would lose, I would lose this space, but I kind of lose that anyway once I start stacking because of the thickness of the stock here. This is a little thicker, but like I said, I lose that anyway once I start stacking. So I might, I might throw one over here and stack up this way and then come this way once I clear the miter saw. So, all that space that was dead space was not used space. Couldn't use it at walkway anyway, obviously. Lumber rack storage, and it freed up. I got a clear walkway now, mostly clear. And I'm going to rearrange this wall as well. I'm going to come up with some better solution. I don't like seeing all that emptiness. It's like a void. But these little things, and these are the ones I built for this video. I'm probably going to put them on that wall kind of higher. Move that shelf. These little things are strong. A strong. It's a good little solution for a lumber rack if you have scrap wood, which most of us do. And if you don't feel like spending the money and waiting on shipping for a metal one, that's not really getting a lot of good reviews anyway. I hope you liked the video. If you liked it, you need to like and subscribe. There's a lot of content coming out. And hit the bell icon, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. Again, I'm giving away a festival domino joiner. If you want to be in a part of that, a chance to win it, subscribe to the channel. When I hit a thousand subscribers, I'm doing a drawing. And if you subscribe before I hit a thousand, you're automatically a part of that drawing. And yes, I am keeping track. I have a list. I'm at 573 subscribers. Thank you. And <clears throat> once I hit a thousand, I'll be giving away a Festool Domino Joiner, which is a pretty sweet tool. And let me know what you think for the next video. I'm debating whether or not to build a cabinet that'll mount on this rolling table because I got all the all that just sitting there. I got to move it every time I move the table. So I'm debating whether or not to build a floating cabinet that'll hold all my Festool sustainers. Or, I'm thinking about doing a video on projects you can do with the upcoming fall season. Stuff you could do, even with scrap wood, to make some pretty good money. Take advantage of the season. It's not that hard to make money if you're a woodworker. Especially, especially in the fall and winter Christmas season. So, thank you for tuning in. I like the lumber rack. 
it'll fill up pretty quickly, which is why I built these other ones. I like it. I'm going to keep rearranging and stuff, and I'll see you on the next one.